These two buildings operate as boarding houses, meaning individual rooms are rented with a common shared bathroom. Well, it wasn't until a first responder came here that he noticed an infestation. These pictures show the proof. Bed bugs in the shower, bed bugs on the carpet, a pile of bed bug shells underneath a mattress. Between the accumulation of bed bug shells and live bed bugs visible in the day, in the bathroom, in the bedroom, in the hallways, it was clear we had to take action. Augusta's city manager says the landlord for the 23 tenants is cooperating and has started the process to remove the pesky blood sucking bugs. But the city is drafting an emergency ordinance to make sure landlords in this case and others are held accountable. There has to be a plan. We can approve or disapprove of the plan if we don't think it's adequate. Uh, and then there are penalties for failure to comply. Exterminator Joe Staples of Bug Busters says bed bugs don't discriminate. He says he's seen a 25% increase in bed bug business over the past year. I have seen them in nice homes, I have seen them in hotels, not giving any names, but yeah, they're everywhere and it's just growing and growing. If the city council approves the ordinance at tomorrow night's meeting, it's an emergency piece of legislation, meaning it's only active for 60 days, and then the city has to go about filing that ordinance again. In Augusta, I'm Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.